Let's begin with our um, last but not least um, talk, keynote. Um, for this one, we have a local, actually. We have a professor uh, from the Benemerita Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. Um, so I want to read his biography. Um, uh, uh, Jose Fermi Guerrero Castellanos received a BSc degree in electronic science from Autonomous University of Puebla, WAP, uh, in 2002, and a Master's of Science and a PhD in automatic control from Grenoble Institute of Technology and Joseph Fourier University, both of these institutions in Grenoble, France, uh, in 2004 and 2008. Uh, between January and June, uh, uh, of 2008. He was a postdoctoral researcher at uh, Gipsa Lab uh, in Grenoble, France. After spending one year at the University Polytechnic of Puebla me uh, in Mexico, um, where he was an assistant professor, he joined in 2009 the Faculty of Electronics um, at WAP as a full professor, where he established and direct uh, the Control and Cyber Physical Systems Laboratory. Currently, um, he is also the head of the Renew Renewable Energy uh, Engineering at Benemérito Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. Uh, in 2016, he was a visiting research professor at the Laboratory of Image Signal and Intelligent Systems um, at the University of uh, Paris uh, Est um, in France, of course. He is member of the Mexican Academy of Science. Uh, member of the Mexican Association on Automatic Control, and member of the National System of Researchers Level 1 um, in Mexico. His research interests include uh, guidance and control of, of autonomous systems, uh, wearable robots, microelectronic systems, and control of re renewable uh, energy systems. Uh, so please uh, give him a round of applause. Uh, thank you, Fermi, for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this, uh, for this emotive introduction. Uh, I don't know, I think that we are here only uh, Mexican people, no? Yes? <laughs> but, so maybe after I will talk uh, Spanish. So, uh, however, I let me start with this presentation. So I go talk about even based collaborative control for consensus of all UVs. So this is the good line for my talk. So first, I have a motivation. Uh, after a continuous and event based control definition, what is that? After the average consensus, then I would like to provide the state of art. The control design proposed for this work, and after that, the simulation and experimental results. And finally, I would like to show you uh, the work in progress and national and international collaboration that we have at the world. Okay, first of all, what is concept? What does mean concept? There are many definitions for that, but for example, we have this one. And generally accepted opinion or decision among a group of people animals, or even robots. OK? So that is consensus. Um, in fact, consensus problems have a long history in the empire science. Nowadays, application, we have application in aerospace, Aeronautics, and robotics, ocean vehicles, uh, energy, that is very, very interesting. Okay. But it's another history. Energy, yeah, of course, and UVs and means. Okay? So, from an theory and engineering point of view, consensus means to reach an increment asymptotic. 
regarding uncertain quantity of time theories that depends in the state of all agents or dynamical systems. Let me to explain this field. In fact, we have, for example, here we have ensemble system and system and first order system. Here we have this, uh, this network, and here each point represents an agent. Okay, so this agent have has this. Uh, is dynamic. In fact, consensus is raised when this condition is a shape. Okay? So here, this, uh, this connection represents the communication channel. Okay? So in this case, in is the time index. Here we have only six, uh, for this example, we have only six agents. So we can prove with this sample control law, it's possible to attain the consensus. In fact, the consensus is the average of initial condition for H, H. Okay? That is the consensus. So it's, it's an, uh, and it's very, uh, very easy to uh, understand. In fact, when we take the loop, the closed loop system becomes like this one. In this case, we have here a matrix which is called Laplacian matrix. This Laplacian matrix is very important to understand the, uh, the behavior for the system. Okay? So it's clear that in this case, the graph theory is necessary in consensus code. So in this case, H vertex represents an agent, and H H represents the chain of communication. There are a uh, big uh, bibliography about consensus control, consensus problem. Here, uh, we show only and show bibliography. In fact, this classic book, it's a uh, a good uh, reference to start with this, uh, with this problem. This classic bull, this seminal paper, but it's a very good right. Okay. Uh, this one also. If, for example, for an uh, robotic point of view, this book is uh, a good book. Okay. Of course, this list is no exhaustive. Uh, no day we can find hundreds papers and projects around it. For example, this, uh, uh, this problem has attracted attention uh, from uh, community, robotics and control community. If for example, the let's hear this, uh, these two numbers, uh, these two special issues and distributed control of robotic data network has appeared in Control System Magazine. Uh, there, are many, there are many groups and many people around the world uh, that uh, they are working about this problem. So it's an uh, area pretty, um, very active. OK. In this uh, the consensus problem, we have two main approaches. We have the centralized coordination where a single control center resides all relevant information necessary to define the motion and action of a action in the team. The other approach is decentralized coordination. In this case, individual agents make their own decision about motion and action with the use of local communication. This world, we uh, we work with this uh, with this approach. However, this work consider and continuous time design and implementation. That's it. The algorithms require and continuous time computation and continuous time of the 
control signal and uncontinuous time uh, communication. It's very uh, restricted. In fact, uh, most of work assume time-driven control. In this case, the computation, uh, well, this, this approach not consider the time of computation or feedback control load with embedded microprocessors. The sensor action, the action affecting uh, the control update, and digital communication, for example, the network control system. So uh, this, uh, this, uh, this approach, it's very used now, however, this not, it's very conservative. So, in recent years, some works added processor war implementation of the control log using an even basis or an even trigger control. In this case, with even trigger control, the control updates are even driven. At this, when an trigger condition is satisfied. Okay, so the update is only uh, the control law is only updated when a triggering condition is satisfied. So, in this case, the control update interval are no equidistant in the time, and the number of control updates can be highly reduced for the same final purpose. There exists an, uh, an advantage for embedded and networker control systems where computational energy resources are limited. Here we show you a short bibliography about event trigger control. There are seminal work uh, of Professor Armstrong, uh, and after there are another, another works about the uh, even basic control. In the case the consensus control, we have this main publication. However, I don't know, but this approach has not been reported for uh, with this control, with this uh, stabilization, and with this coordination. So that is an, an opportunity for work about. Okay, so in this case, we have the following problem steps. We consider multi-agent system consisting of in vitro twins system and communication graph. The problem is to find a trigger rule that determine based in local information when agent I has to trigger and locate a new state value to its next such that all agent state conversion to the average of the initial conditions. We have uh, this assumption the graph is indirect and connected. So we have this uh, setup. Okay, for that, we consider the quad rotor model. This, what, this, uh, this model is, this is a nonlinear model. It, uh, this one can be broken in two systems. This one, which represents the uh, rotation, and this one represents uh, the rotation. In this case, the attitude is parametrized with uh, quarter, because there are many advantages with respect to Angular A. Okay, so we have this, uh, this model. So in this case, it's, it's, uh, it's clear that this system represents a cascade system. So it's possible to design a control law for this system and a control law for this system. Okay? It's necessary that this control law, the, the dynamics of this control, for this system, uh, becomes very, very, very 
speaking. Okay? So, for that, let me consider only the rotational dynamics, the additive model for this, uh, for this system. Okay? The, the control objective in this case, and some stabilization object. In this case, we, uh, we have this uh, asymptotical condition. Uh, before that, in this case, uh, we don't have to take this time, but this control law allowed to stabilize this system. In this case, this function is a function, function, and these uh, parameters are uh, strictly positive. When this control law is applied, if using this control law, we can stabilize the geodynamics of the big top that is the translation dynamics, this one become like this. Okay? So for that we can propose this intermediate input. When this intermediate input is when this trust this dynamic become like this. Okay? So in this case, we have three double integrators. So the problem becomes more easy. So here we have the vital dynamics, the position controller, because with this, uh, with this dynamic, we propose, we can propose here any, uh, any control, for example, um, ID or uh, a nonlinear control. In this case, I I, I want to uh, stop and um, want to stop here because I would like to show uh, the design, the construction, uh, this. Uh, in this case, the this system, in order to test this control. Okay, for that, we have this, uh, this prototype that if this prototype was developed at what? Okay, so here we have, for example, for the embedded controller, we have an Spartan and FPGA. Here we have the attitude, uh, the attitude, um, Measurement, and here we have the accelerometers, gyrometers, and magnetometers. And a nonlinear al algorithm, a nonlinear observer, in order to estimate all the attitude of the system. We have the GPS, and we have a chain of communication. In this case, an X. So, we had many prototypes in order to test this, uh, this control law. Yeah. We start here and for these three, uh, three prototypes, we test only the attitude control, and for this one, we test an attitude control together with an position control. So, first of all, it's necessary to, have, to, to, to do a simulation. So we have here any results about this control. So in this case, we start with any condition, and after we are shy, the origin. If we can follow number of points. Okay. So this control can be applied at this in this system, but it's a simulation. Okay? So now I'd like to show what's happened with unreal system. In this case, 
we had done first test using non-commercial setup. Once the control law is tested, it's necessary to apply it to an real prototype. In this case, we have the following result. Oh, this is a little history about different prototypes. For example, here, we are tuning the control law. So we can use the hardware in the loop technique for tuning different scan of the control law. Here we have indoor fly. This is the first prototype. This same prototype we test for door fly. Second prototype. Here, let me show you the robustness of the control law. See. We can see the control law is very, very robust. Here we have only the attitude control. Okay. In this case, we have the attitude control together with position control. In this case, we use the uh, GPS signal. And we have the result. Very sample control. It's not linear control, but it's very sample control. One, the control load was tested with an drone. Uh, now, I would like to show the results with an uh, set of control of uh, and set of uh, drone. Okay, so in this case, this is the control load for the consensus. Okay, so if you remember, H system can be greater like this one. Okay? So in this case it's necessary to design the control law for that for that. Okay? So the proposed control law for the consensus is this one. 
also it's a very simple one. In, the, in this case, we're looking for an uh, compromise and trade-off and trade-off between the uh, communication and the uh, control law update. Okay, so the control law is updated only when this trigger condition is satisfied. Okay, and the uh, in this case also the control law is uh, broadcasting only when this condition is satisfied. This is uh, this is the uh, assumption, and this is the error. Okay. In this case, the average for this system becomes like this one. For this simulation results, we consider only four uh, drones. Okay? So remember that H, the agent, H drone, have, have this, uh, this dynamic. Okay? So the control O for this dynamic remember that it works. When I apply this flow, the edge system, we have the following uh, So this is the average consensus, this is the initial condition, the initial condition for the position, the for velocity. Okay? So this is the uh, this is the simulation results and we can see that the consensus is a shape. Okay, for the position, before the velocity. The more important here, we uh, I show you here the events. Okay, in this case, the events uh, allow to reduce the information information transmission. So, uh, approximately 19%. So, after that, uh, it's interesting not only the consensus, also it's interesting the formation. Before this, uh, before this case, this control, the control law for consensus becomes like this one. In this case, there are a little modifications. So, with that, we have this uh, result. That would like to show. We start with initial conditions, and after that, the system must and initiate formation. This is another formation. Formation shape. Your touch is interesting. In this case, this represents the events. Okay? When the shape formation is shaded, there are less even. This is the information flow. You can see here, it's necessary to transmit information. When we achieve the formation, it's not necessary to transmit the okay, position, the, the it's not necessary to update the control law. Okay, so now I'd like to show you experimental results with this control law. Okay? For that 
l'ethnie. In order to test this controller, we traveled to France with my student two weeks. to the novel city. Then, because uh, there are a um, beautiful platform, so here we have and by consistent, we have a real-time uh, target, and we have any small run that allow to test the control load. the camera, is it the place for the fly, the small tool. Okay, for this uh, for this experimentation, we consider this graph. Okay, so only three uh, uh, three uh, weavers. Okay, and this graph. So this is the communication. Okay, this is the communication topology. This is the uh, the, the, the series formation, the, the series shape, in the con in the initial condition. Okay, so first after the takeoff, the um, the vehicles achieve this uh, this position. After ten seconds, they change to this position, and after twenty seconds, they come back at the initial. Okay. So here we have the experimentation. We can say this is the first this is the first shape approximately a triangle after we have this shape we can see that the control law performs very well. So the objective is accomplished. Okay. Well, this is the result for the edge uh, vehicle. So this is the uh, Euler angle. This is the position for H uh, vehicle. We can see here the formation, formation shape. And this is the event. This is the moment where the information is starting to forget. So in this case, we have a reduction with respect to the uh, and traditional, and traditional uh, approach, approximately 20%. Okay. 